Hi, and welcome to Financial Accounting 1. Uh, when I left off, we were going over how to create an income statement. That is the first financial statement that you would create. Today, we're going to go over how to create a statement of owner's equity. That would be the second financial statement that you create. They'd always be created in order. Um, income statement, statement of owner's equity, and finally the balance sheet, which we'll do next. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the heading. And the heading is the who, what, and when. So whenever we do a heading, the first thing we're going to do is say who. Who is the company? What is the name of the company? So if we look at our instructions here, it says Wayne's Widgets has the following balances for the month of October 31st, 2012. So the name of our company is Wayne's Widgets. And we put that on the first line. The second line says what? What is the user of financial information looking at? What the financial uh, user of financial information is looking at today is a statement of owners. Oops equity. Um, and a statement of owner's equity is the phrase we use for a sole proprietorship, which is what we talk about in Financial Accounting 1. If you were talking about another corporate form, say um, corporation, then you might say the statement of shareholders equity. But since we are doing a sole proprietorship, we're going to talk about the owner's equity. And finally, the one. Similar to an income statement, which hopefully you saw in my first video, we talked about it there, uh, statement of owner's equity is a change statement. Uh, the statement of owner's equity is going to follow the transaction that happened for a business over a period of time. So if we look over here, you can see we have a beginning balance, net income for October, Wayne's drawing account, the money that he took away from the business. And so these totals that we are looking at here are what accumulated for the month of October. And we know that it's for the month of October because when we look at the instructions, it says right here, October 31st, 2012. So when we write the when for the statement of owner's equity, we're going to say for the month ended October 31st, 2012. Now, for our example here, we said month, but it could be something else. You could say quarter, year, whatever, whatever your problem is specifying. But for ours, it's going to be for the month because we're going to be talking about these transactions. We're going to summarize these transactions that happened for the month of October. So the statement of owner's equity always starts with what happened, what's, what, what did we start with? So we will start at the beginning of October since it's October 31st. If we look here, we have October 1st, $4,000. We have Wayne's Capital. If you remember, Wayne's Capital, Capital talks about the owner's financial interest in the business. So as of October 1st, Wayne had a $4,000 interest in the business Wayne's Widgets. So we'll come on over here to our statement, and we're going to start with a beginning balance, Wayne Capital, October 1st, 2012. I'm going to make my letter A a little bigger so we can capture more of the information. And I'm going to put in $4,000. And I'm going to format this column here so that we can see that it's dollars and change and everything. So the next thing we're going to talk about for the statement of owner's equity is what happened during the month. And I'm going to come over here. We have net income for October. That's given to us in this situation, in this example. But for most businesses, you would need to calculate net income for October. So you would have to uh, create an income statement. And hopefully all of you watched the first video on creating an income statement. But that's where this $3,000 would come from. You don't just get it from a textbook. You would calculate this $3,000. You would find net income from October on the income statement that you had pr created prior. So that's why you have to create this income, this statement twice. First, you have to create the income statement so that you can find net income from October. And then you can calculate the statement of owner's equity. So I'm going to say net income for the month ended October 
and I'm going to go ahead and put $3,000 in here. And the next thing that a faxed owner's capital is, is drawing. So if we think about um, the expanded financial equation, it's assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity plus revenue minus expenses. So if this is the statement of owner's equity, we're focusing right here on owner's equity. So owner's equity plus revenue minus expenses. Well, we do plus revenue minus expenses when we find net income, because that's the def definition of net income, is revenue minus expenses. But also here in owner's capital, it's not just capital, but drawing. We have two accounts and a sole proprietorship that relate to owner's equity capital, which has a normal credit balance, and drawing. Drawing has a normal debit balance. It's what's known as a contra account. So it's contra to capital, so it's opposite. So drawing would have an opposite balance of capital. It has a debit balance. And also, drawing is what happens when the owner takes money away from the business. He's saying, I'm not going to have it for Wayne's widgets. I'm going to have it for myself. So drawing is a negative. It's opposite of capital. Oops. It's a negative. So we're going to have drawing be a negative that's going to subtract from capital. So I'm going to just come up here and put Wayne, or uh, I'm going to say less Wayne drawing. And that'll help us to know that we're going to subtract it. And when I show it here, I'm going to show it as a negative $2,000. Oops, not 20, negative $2,000. Got a little crazy with my zeros. I'm going to get rid of my fundamental accounting equation here so we can continue our statement. And I'm going to come up here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to talk about a function. We need to now calculate the ending balance of Wayne Capital on October 31st, 2012. Because what has happened is we started here. We incurred income from the month. Wayne withdrew to run his household, his personal life. Um, during the month, and now we have an ending balance. So we're going to put a line here, and whenever we put a line, whenever we put a line in our statements, that is to indicate to a user of financial information that we are going to perform a function. We're either going to add or subtract. That's what we're going to show here. Um, so we're going to say, we're going to say $4,000 is where we started. We had net income for the month, so we're going to add, and you can see it's shown as a positive. $3,000 is positive here. And then I had drawing, which is a negative, and I'm going to subtract. So I'll put a little function in my Excel. I'm going to say uh, C5, 4000 plus my net income, which is C6, less, um, plus my drawing, because I already have it in as a negative, so I'll subtract it there. C7, and I'm going to have a new total, 5,000. 4,000 plus 3,000, 7,000, minus 2,000 gives me 5,000. And that is my ending balance. That's what my new capital number should be. And I'm going to go ahead and put a double bottom line in there. And hopefully you can see it. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult. Oops, that's not going to help you. It's a little bit difficult to see the bottom lines in Excel and just try and make it a little bigger. So right here, these double bottom line, if you can see it on your screen, is indicating to a user of financial information that we're done, that this statement is complete, that the ending balance for Wing Capital is $5,000, and then this statement is done.
Um, what you would do then, since this is the second statement, you have a third statement to complete, is you would take this capital balance and you would use it in your balance sheet, which is why we create the statement of owner's equity second. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the statement of owner's equity, and I hope you join me for my next demonstration, which will be how to create a balance sheet. Thank you, and have a great day.